Welcome guys, welcome to another episode of City Skylines Industries. This episode is actually recorded a bit later than usual. But today we're going to do the usual as I said last episode, we're going to expand the transport system in the city, trying to make less traffic in the city by public transport. So we're gonna work on that today. Also do a bit of detailing and stuff. Oh, okay then. Oh my lord. Wow. That was f a funny cinematic moment there. Alright, let's get into it. First thing we are going to do is build over this whole district here. I can just do, I can get it to level to this road here. This road here. Let's show you that strand up. Close the game for a moment so they edit in. This is going to look weird, honestly. It's going to look weird. done editing it should be just fine just use move it to readjust some of the building heights the road height a bit so we can see how far in we want this to be. So it's basically like a wall I'm making with just like I did in So we're gonna have a problem right here. Now to do some move it work here. This will take a while, so I'll be skipping this part out, even for patients. All right, guys, that <laughs> took forever. 
but we got everything aligned with move it and stuff so that is finally level a bit we just have to work on this road do that off camera but it's all flat finally Right, so now we can work on. I have to put this slope here. <laughs> if you saw the water overflow from the river was going to flood the area there, so I have to put that. Bit of a hill there to block the water from running over. That's Samsung in the front because for some reason the coal decided to come back. Clearly missed a spot. Didn't even notice that it was going on here. Feel free if you guys have any suggestions on how to manage the oil district down here. Let me know in the comments below. Right, let's add back two of these that we had to delete during the alignment. Might as well add the next one. Right, so that's oil. We need uh, factories. We should have by now. some storage here of here side wrong button there and I'm going to do this one
and then back to the final stop and complete the line. Right, that line is completed. We have the oil district connected to the complex <laughs> transport network. The really complex transport network for the city. It's like crazy. We just need to deal with the water now. Simple run a line should on the And power. I see that we are second power a moment ago. These guys we have any let's see. And we have no health centers down here. Since there will be a lot of people in the area. Why not have a center there? Just in case someone dies down here, which they might. A crematorium there. It's an oil district. We might as well have a huge um, fire department. Alright, let's see. Is the metro working? I can simply just click on one of the metro stations. Well, obviously it hasn't transport any workers just yet. This is going to become a very busy area. <laughs> Why? Why in God's name are you going there to turn around? Oh, Lord. What's that? Um, what's? Oh my lord! This is gonna be interesting. I can remember where that technically has no connection. It usually is on the. the I can get to connect that one long there. It's like they're coming up here to make a U turn, that's ridiculous. I can simply just remember this one. Took off this spawning though. I can simply restrict these roads here to no trucks at all. Just restrict that road to no truck, no trucks or different. So no trucks are allowed to use that road. That should stop them from doing that. Let's see what this one is planning to do. Right, this one. Trish. Alright, so it's getting busy in the oil district. Very busy. Why are they stopping here? So, one like places get busy like this you usually always have to do managing of traffic allowed to join the intersection matter if it's jammed that's it 
one's gonna be jump up to you. After all, it's an oil district, as you can see more boats coming in there. Let's see how the metro is doing. Wow. Wow. Alright. That's strange. Is that even working? On the other hand. I'm not seeing any metros. Yeah, there's one right there. Nope. No one wants to travel all the way down here with the metro. Oh, well, these three passengers dropping off at the space station there. Right, the next thing we need to add down there oh. Traffic here is actually sorted itself out Remember the last episode Here we had the whole issue with the buses And the traffic system It's... It's fixed Finally Alright, so I see what scores on this here. What's the speed limit on that road? 100 and then they have to slow down to 50. No. Turn it down, so I have to readjust the speed of the road on the down. So it counts as a highway also. Right, that's fixed. Hmm. And again with my wacky come truck come chaption here. So this intersection is I do. This here is weird. It's weird. So we have a bit of a huge district here. What's on fire? For the traffic, let's see what we look like on the scale of traffic. We're like an 81% because of mostly the industrial district right here and the highway that always has cars on it and the train system right here. On this side of the city, it's completely clean. Main city is like bottlenecked with traffic. Mostly on the industrial side of stuff. Like, it has like three, four whole districts the oil district, regular industrial district, the forestry district right here, and the farm and district on this side that's like the whole four districts this side we have so whoa whoa why is that backed up 
Okay, is that the turn in for these guys here? Yep. Ah, yes. Move it, here we go. have to come back to this junction and fix it. It's like weird. A one way. Come right here. Oh no, I can use a normal. There. Then we can like this one to that. This one. Slope too steep. Move it. Where is that a bit? Okay, this one to this. Right. And you traffic manager. Just line up this road here, that's... Where the connection is, it's like really hard to see behind that truck that has the same color. My lord. And unpause and see how stuff goes. This connection here would have to adjust. Yeah, the whole connection here would have to adjust. Pause again. This the tight turn that I'm trying to get rid of. Oh, come on. That seems to solve everything. That seems to do it. What's the speed like on these roads? 80. Mm, yeah, let's see if it's at 80. Let's see, these guys are getting a bit backed up. Why I have no, no idea why this is happening, but they are stopping here sometimes. Alright, that's better. That's working out fine. Until it reaches this end here. Wow, what a predicament. If I can simply just take this, flip it to the other side, probably have to move this road out a bit. Oh, right, I have an idea to fix that. Reduce that to a two-lane one-way. Should give me more swoll. Seriously.
Right. Okay, that was strange. Some strange stuff going on in the middle of that intersection there. Alright, so we have um, a bit of the. Let's see how we're doing on that um, traffic. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my lord. Some serious bottleneck traffic. Not much of a bottleneck traffic, but. Wow, these intersections are ridiculous. There's some traffic down here also. This is the main um main train line, so it obviously would have traffic on it. In regards to transport, let's see how our transport system is doing. Alright, so far in total we transport that's 3,313 residents per week and 50 tourists per week. We got residents went up there again. So the transport system is somewhat working. Most for the metro we transport 1,533 residents and four tourists per week. Buses are just around the same thing. For the buses we have 950 residents and 10 tourists. And what's this here? the trains for the trains which is like covering half of the transport we have 847 residents 32 tourists and we have no planes we have boats for boats we have four residents and one tourist and that's basically it Let's see for this line down here, is there any ooh, two? We have two there. Let's see for down the we have six. So yeah. We are actually using it more now. We get down in this section. We just roll up and then get demolished there. It's kind of an automatic bulldoze because why not? I'm gonna spend my whole day bulldozing buildings. Alright, so it's coming along good down on the seaside oil district here. Yeah. Let's see how much pollution we are creating. Oh, we just had a fire there that's out there because we have Let's see pollution pollution right there. Damn. Ground pollution we have ground pollution is 5% ground pollution well take it that we have the whole 25 tiles I think it is 5% is not much it's just like these little patches that we have pollution in on the other hand that there is dumping straight into the ocean. Yeah, just these little patches we have a bit of pollution. 
on garbage. We. Oh. Still have a little bit of issues. S somewhat patched all around. It's like these little houses that somehow don't get garbage collected. When there's a gazillion garbage trucks around. But so far the city is going good. No demand as of now. We are losing people as a matter of fact. No demand as of now for any of the tree stuff. Let's make sure we don't have demand master seeing anything there. No, demand master is not on as you can see. So it's no demand at all for any of these guys. Um, that's a nice thing. Let's see, as we are down on this side, let's see how much prisoners we have. Wow. Well, take a that this city has over 80,000 people in it. It's, that's a little bit, considering it's 81,000 population. To have 35, well, 34 criminals in prison. That's, that's a little. Ooh. Oh my god, well this is constantly all this like this. Alright. Next episode guys we'd be working on this area here. Probably going to do over the whole area. Because that is a lot of traffic there. So we're probably going to do for this whole area with that. Um, with that cargo station there, train station. So we're going to do that whole area over next episode. Let's get into cinematic here. Yeah? Alright, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode today while we did a bit of transport fixing and did a bit of work on our seaside oil industry district. That makes no sense. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel hitting 100 plus subscribers on the second. I think it was, yeah. On the second. Thank you guys for the support. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the video. Click on the bell icon to get notified when I release videos on the channel, which would be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and the occasional live streams on YouTube. When I decide to share my live streams from Twitch, the occasional live streams. Alright guys, thank you for supporting the channel so far. Feel free again to drop a like and a subscribe. All social media and promotional links are down in the description below. Sashbos saying enjoy the rest of your day. Ashbos out.